Football is back, and Bet Online is your number one information source for all your sports wagering info with all the up to the minute stats, news, scores, and matchup breakdowns. Get the latest game odds, spreads, and totals from the NFL and college football at your fingertips with Bet Online's real time updates on statistics, news, and odds. From week one all the way to the college football playoff and Super Bowl, Bet Online gives you access to the best football promotions and contests available anywhere online. Head over to the website today or use your mobile device to get in on the action. Remember to use the promo code BLEAV, that's B L E A V, to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts. Yo, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back once again. It is Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club, the podcast. You are here on Band Sessions with the Boom. We are here. So before we move forward, if you have not already liked us or checked us out on YouTube, go to YouTube, subscribe to the page, click the like button, and hit the bell, ding, so you can make sure you get the notifications. We're also on Spotify apple podcast and wherever you get your podcast now if you make sure that you donate to the channel because it all helps the cause that's the i love jackson state university we are back toby done yeah what's the dilly yo wow what's up what's good everything's what's good. up <laughs> man let me good how y'all doing i'm so, doing good dude you're doing great i'm doing right, great cool. i love it so peep this out check this out so i don't want to get too far away from what we are here for i have a special presentation for you guys like i want to show you guys something are y'all ready yay i love special presentations i'm ready right, i'm here ready we go all right here we go here we go let's see let's see if i can take y'all back a little bit boom Motown 30 what's going on hey please welcome oh from my god the jackson state university marching band this is special with me. this is special <laughs> Huh. It's a show right there. The show. That's a show. I see how they, I see how they doing it. Jackson three. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at that swing and sway. You see it? It was 90. 90. You know what? I will. I'm going to go on record and tell you guys age. You guys, you two, were 10 years old. Uh, You were 10. It's a good year. It's a great year. Great year. year. Mm -hmm. This year. I remember watching that on TV live. I didn't I didn't have anybody. So let me tell you what let me tell you how it happened for me. I remember watching that show. There was nobody to text because I didn't have 
text messages. <laughs> there was no way to record it with the cell phone. I didn't have a cell phone. Just so happened. And we didn't know, like, I didn't know that the boom, you know, normally when you know when there's a, a big performance coming up, everybody knows, oh, the boom going to Motown. The boom going to the to New Orleans for the Essence Fest. The, the boom going to Mardi Gras. You know, we always know. Mm -hmm. We didn't know back then. It just came on TV and it was like, oh, the boom. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. Wow. Wow. That's history. That's history right there. Wow. I can't see. See, now that adds. Okay. Uh -huh. That uh -huh. adds some that adds meat? some meat to it. Yeah. Terrell, it was like three months before that I knew that that was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to be big because my sister was marching in the band at the time. Really? Uh, my sister was marching in the band at the time. And you she and right. she went to L.A. And, and we have family in L.A. And we was like, oh, hey. Lisa what is not gonna be in LA. So like, hey, y'all gonna hang out with her? And like and they they went to the parade, like when they was marching down the street, like my cousins and auntie and uncle and all that stuff, they were there, you know what I'm saying? But wow. we didn't go, you know, but it was it was one of those things it was like, oh, th this is a big deal, but we didn't know how big of a deal it was until we saw it on like ABC, CBS, or whatever it was. CBS, like yeah. it was it was a big deal. That's it was awesome. like, oh, there you are. On TV. On TV. On the Tizub. On the Tizub. Terrell, did you know anybody in the band at the in, in 90? You know what? I did not know a soul in the band in mm. 1990. Okay. Um you have no, no uncles, aunts, cousins, no, um, cousins. No, no aunties, uncles, aunts, cousins. No, no. No class. Mates with cousins, nothing. No, no, you know what? Well, I felt like we you probably had like some that. classmates with cousins. Toby, had well, I felt like there. we felt like that in like '98 after the like, <laughs> Tennessee State game. We, we came back to campus. We was like, "Yeah, I'm that dude you saw on um, on BET." <laughs> 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 right? Yeah, I'm him. I'm, I'm him. You saw on BET. We like, saw the close up. We, we saw the same. We saw the same show. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> that's we took a shot. I was on there. That was me. <laughs> Yeah, did, did you know any anybody on there? No, I didn't. Time? Nope. No one. No, I don't even think I saw that in real time. I know I didn't see that in real. Time. I may have, but I might not have been paying that much attention yeah. to the band or the intro. Yeah. So where are we so, going, man? So this is where we going. We are about to go there. So the clip was part of the course. It was right on time, I think. So without further ado, so y'all know we got another special guest. All of our guests are special. This guest <laughs> is very special. All our guests are very special, but I am happy to announce, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, Mr. Ira Von Woo. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I can't wait to know. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> You know what? I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on record. I'm gonna go on record and say right that was the best intro. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. one has done that. That is hilarious, guys. Let me Come on, man. man. So let me tell y'all what happened. Let me tell y'all what happened. So the people that may just be watch, maybe listening and not watching. So Iravon, when the screen came on, the door was closed, and all you saw was a guard the yard jersey in the back and then this door opened and he came in the door <laughs> like he literally came on the stage that was amazing Perfect, sir. man ira how you doing brother man i'm doing fantastic man listen man it is an honor and a, and a, and a privilege to have you all thank you for sharing your time with us so man we can just kind of just start talking and just get into some of these great conversations man uh, okay what, what you got going on right now? i mean what what's Man, I, I don't know where to start. Don't you? Tell me. Where, where Let's start we... here. Here. Let's introduce the man of the hour. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mr. Aravon, you, can you okay. do the honors? <clears throat> well, um, Aravon, I'm, I'm native of Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, went to Callaway. Uh, graduated under Joe Mitchell. The late oh Joe Mitchell. Yeah, I was his first drum major, um, 1986. Wow. I got to I got to Jackson State in 1986. 
uh, became a freshman drum major. I didn't challenge anyone because I wait my time. I became a uh, head drum major in 1987, which I ran that from 87 up until 90. Um, I left Jackson State in 1990, um, and then I returned two years ago and graduated um, with uh, professional interdisciplinary studies. So uh, after 30, 30 plus years, I went back and finished uh, with a request from my mom, she asked me to finish what, what I started. So I got that done right before, well, I actually got it done. She took ill and died the week that I started back in school. So I went on and finished it up because she asked for it. Um, I'm now a uh, managing partner for Hatshell Oyster House out in Flowood. Have my own limousine business called Unique Class Limousine. Um, and, and still supporting Jackson State. <laughs> Well, wow, man. So, okay, <laughs> that that. So you took you took us you took us somewhere. You took us to a, took us to a few places, man. So shout out to shout out to Joe Mitchell, man. That's All right, right Mr. That's Joe right. Mitchell. I went to Callaway. I don't know if you know. It, I went to Callaway. I'm a graduate of '98, man. Okay, Joe Mitchell, man. That that was that was our guy, man. You know, man. Ah, so you went to Callaway. So, um, how did you get? To Jackson State. You said, "How did I get to Jackson State?" Yeah. So, so what? What was the? I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. All what right. was the? What was the motivation? What was it that got you to Jackson State? Why JSU? Why the song? Okay. Our okay. So, you boom story. All right. So here, here's the here's the story. Jackson State band camp starts a week before. I mean, a week after Southern University issue. So I had a full scholarship to Jackson State and SU. I went by and talked to Dow Taylor the week that I was getting ready to go to Southern. And I said, I said, Mr. Taylor, I just want to thank you for the scholarship. And I said, but I'm going to Southern because I want to be an electric engineer. He said, go on, sign your scholarship. I said, Mr. Taylor, I'm not coming here. I'm going to Southern. He said, son, sign your scholarship. So that way, your money is here when you get back. So I said, oh. Dow Taylor. I said, Dow Taylor. I oh, said, uh, I want to be an bloody. engineer. I said, I want to be an engineer. And he said, uh, well, Vaughn, he said, have you been to Southern before? I said, no, sir. He said, you never visit the campus? I said, no, sir. He said, sign your, sign your name so your money is here when you get back. <laughs> so, of course, Dow Taylor being the person that he is, he knew what was he knew what I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I went to Southern for three days, uh, went through the band camp. Um, I had a couple of visitors from Jackson State that was uh, <laughs> that came by and said, I wish you well and don't come home. And so I, I managed to do probably about 5,000 push-ups in the first three days. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, about 5,000 and Southern. Yeah. So they, they, they believe in pushing up the earth. So, uh, after a few, after a few incidents that I didn't want to, uh, happen with the brother that I have, my brother's a U.S. Marines and he don't take well of people putting their hands on folks. So I felt that it was probably best for me to come on home. So I was actually through, and I'll be honest with you guys, I was actually through with band after the experience that I had at uh, Southern. Oh. But I had a I had a um, boom sister named Journey to Johnson that actually came by and picked me up that Saturday morning and said, uh, "Ira, let's go." I said, "I said uh, I'm not going." So she went back there, and my mom said, "Baby, go ahead and leave." So I ended up going. She paid my, my, um, the, this is, I guess, a admission or the dues that we had to pay. I didn't even want to get out the car. She was like, get out the car. So I got out of the car, went in and signed up, played baritone. Dow Taylor saw me. He said, Vaughn, come upstairs. So I went upstairs. He said, um, so son, um, glad you're back. I knew you were going to be back. 
He said, what do you think about being a drum major? I said, I would love to. He said, well, all three of my drum majors are leaving and uh, we're gonna need drum majors for next year. He says, so I want you to try out, which I did. And I was the only freshman. And so it was tough. I mean, I, I had never seen nothing like this because of course at, at Callaway, we, we march core and we only get a chance to get out of that routine when we play murder. So marching high wasn't something that we did at all. So I had to learn routines, learn the, the way that the boom march and play and all that. And so I ended up making it freshman, my freshman year. Um, so I kind of stayed in my own lane. And so um, I didn't try to challenge anybody. I played baritone my freshman year, did what I needed to do. Um, still played in a, in a, in a leadership role because um, James Berry was very adamant about keeping me away from everybody. So that way, the respect that you get from just staying on course. And I just, I just, uh, uh, when speaking at Joe Mitchell's memorial last week, I, I realized last week, I didn't get a chance to have no fun at all <laughs> because I've been the drum major since 1986. You're a leader. Oh, I, leaders I, don't I, have fun. I, I've, 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 I've lived a drum major life all my life. I'm still wow. a drum major. Yeah, so, you are. So, you are. so you are I don't leader. have leaders don't so, have fun. No. So I don't have I don't have those stories about the the fun things. I can tell you about tragedy things that I had to go in and pull someone or grab someone or you know or be there to comfort someone and all that. But I don't have a I don't have a story. I can tell you about a lot of folks that got in trouble. I can yeah. tell you about I can tell you about when we got ready to play USM that the police <laughs> came and grabbed me off the first bus and said, son, you sideswiped all those cars on campus last night when <laughs> I don't have a car. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. You gotta talk about that. Sign swipe cards. What are we okay. talking about? So like like all right, y'all ready? Okay. Yes, we ready. Ready. The USM story. When we played Jackson State, play USM. That's when Brent Favre was playing for the UM, USM Eagles. All right. So before we left to go to USM, one of the drum majors had uh, sideswiped all a, a set of cars on campus because once upon a time, you could drive all the way through campus. Right. 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 All right. I remember that. So, I remember that. I remember that. Okay. So one of the drum majors side swipe those cars when you first come in by the band room where that what drum where that lane yeah it was a drum major what so drum? that's all they that's all they knew it was a drum major <laughs> and so they came to the first bus because that's where the drum major sit i'm the only drum major that sit on the first bus so when he walked up to me he said son i need you to go with me i said where he said you side swipe cars i said i only have a car and so that kind of ended and what was what was really cool about it is that they didn't find out they didn't find out about who did it because nobody gave it, gave it up. So the cool part of it is that <laughs> now we don't give that up. So they had to do an investigation somewhere else because it was time for the bus to roll out. And so once once the the bus rolled out, of course the drum major was on the last bus, and all that happened, but. It was, it was one of those things where once we got the USM, I had one drum major going down, the other drum major going up. So it was a, it was a performance to, to remember. But at the same time, you know, the, the cool part about that, about that was, we uh, managed to do what we had to do. <clears throat> I just made a comment about that to the uh, alumni drum majors that we did a lot of things and we worked a lot on muscle memory. So that way, when something comes up based on what's going on with them, we can still do the performance to the same level, even if someone is maybe under the influence or they're, they're not 100 percent. So that's that's where that muscle memory falls in place, which, you know, the boom does that on a regular basis anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah we work through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to. 
Gotta, we gotta perform. We're show, show band. That's right. It's show time. <laughs> it's show time. Man, that is crazy, man. Like, I, you know what? You so you said something crazy, funny. You said you don't have any stories, man. You got all of the stories. Yeah. Oh, whether I got. It was, I, whether, oh, whether I got it was the story, story. Whether it was a story you were involved in uh -huh. or not, you were there. So, oh, we will man. cover up, baby. We covered it up. <laughs> so, 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 so nobody, nobody said anything about the side swiping of the cars, and then that just kind of now, just, the, now them cars just weird. damaged. They were just, they were just damaged. All, all the rear view mirrors hanging. <laughs> the doors had scratches going down like a long line. Like, That's right. That's right. <laughs> Whatever color the paint was of the car that was the, uh, doing the side swiping. Mm -hmm. Red. It was on every, red. So it was a red, red. stripe. <laughs> uh. It was a red stripe and, and, and rear view mirrors hanging. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. All right, man. Like, it was, I want to tell you, like, I the first time I saw the boom, like, for real, like, where I know, I saw the boom before, but the first time I noticed the boom was um, 1988, Gremlin. Good year. We were in Gremlin. My okay. mom, we had a Volkswagen Beagle, 1973 Beagle. We drove from Jack, from from Brandon, Mississippi, to to Grandma, Louisiana, and we were at that game, and, and the boom played "Peace of My Love," and I was like, "Oh mm -hmm. my God!" Like I, I remember, I was like in third grade. I was like, "Oh, this is like I want to be in this." You know what I'm saying? And my okay. sister. She was at Lanier High School at the time, and you yep. know, like, yep. like she was going, she was gonna be in the boom. She, that that was her thing. She was she wanted to be in the boom, and I was like, oh man, like I want to do this also, you know. And then <laughs> a couple of years, uh, like no, the next year, the first drum major's name that I've ever known, ever, <laughs> is Ira Vaughn. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. I knew it was the coming. first drum major I've ever known. I, I didn't know you, but Legend. I knew you. Legend. Like, Ira Vaughn mm -hmm. was my drum major. You the reason why I went to Jack State. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I never want to be a drum major, but I remember being on the plaza in like 89, 90, 91, and, and like you pulled me to the side and you <laughs> oh. you did this with me. Did the move? He did the drum major. Like he like he like do this. Yeah, he touched me on the shoulder. You don't you don't remember that shit. You don't remember that. <laughs> he don't. He's done. I don't remember he does. that. Oh, that's awesome. I remember that. Like, oh. and I'm I'm not a drum major. I, when I got to the boom, I never desired to be a drum major. But like, you are part of the reason why I wanted to be a part of the boom. Wow. So Tobin. Do you know some history about the 1988 Gremlin game? That well, talk, talk to me about it. So let me tell you what happened at Gremlin 1988 while we were sitting there. Yeah. Do you remember Gremlin playing Rock the House? I remember that. And that's when we took it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So, Toby, Toby, you are part of history, sir. You were at the game. I was at that game. Right? I was at that game. Oh. We took it. Dow Taylor. Mm -hmm. Dow Taylor said, Vaughn, come here. He said, You see that? The whole crowd. Boom, boom. He said, We got to, we got to do that. So what we had a we had pet rallies every Friday. Mm -hmm. So he had the cheerleaders to come in, play the song, introduce it to them. Told them on on the plaza on Friday we're gonna practice with the the whole student body, and we're gonna play that on Saturday. And it ain't, it has it has not stopped yet. Wait 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 uh uh. <laughs> you said practice it on the plaza. Correct with the student with body. the student body. So you all Correct. had the student body participate. You like y'all do Correct. this. That's right. Wow. We, we showed them. We we played the music, and you know, Dow Taylor had the little the little speaker, and, he, he and it, we introduced it with the cheerleaders. Once the cheerleaders did it, we went on the plaza because we have a pep rally every Friday. So at the pep rally, we told the student body about the song, and we told them what the reaction was and what you're supposed to do, and don't 
rocked the house, you know. And I mean, and the crowd got into it. So when we played it on Saturday, it was they over. They knew what to do. It's over. <laughs> 1988, that Gremlin hey. State game is when we took it. What? We took it. They you took it. Got, you got I was at that game. I was at that game. Oh, my goodness. When we took it. Yo. Snatched, That's right. Snatched That's it right, right out the sky. We took it, man. <laughs> right out the sky. They, you, y'all hear that? Right out <laughs> <on> the <laughs> ethos. <laughs> right. <laughs> man, dude, that is wow. That man, that's that's crazy. Well, see, that, y'all gotta understand when when we were in the band, we killed flies with sledgehammers. Mm. Oh, hold it again. Stop, 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 come out. on now with that. <laughs> <amount. laughs> yeah, oh, so, oh, oh, no. Come on with that. Well, in, in 98, who used to say that? Pop. Killer. No, Doc said that. No, was it Pop? No. It was Pop, right? Paul Taylor. Paul. Paul Adams. Paul Adams. Paul Adams. Paul Adams. I was like, you know, he didn't put oh. two bad and ready together. Uh, yeah, Paul right. Adams said that. Killer that with a session. Right. You're right. You're right. Paul you're Adams. Right. Mm-hmm. Paul Adams said that. Like killer killing that. Guys, we, we we made sure that when during the time that we were in the band, we made sure you can't say nothing once we come off the field. You really want us to come behind you, not in front. Because if we go on first, we taking your crowd. Mm. So our mission is to get your crowd rocking with us, and because we have to perform to them, right? Right. At a visitors game, we got to yeah. perform to them. So what we gonna do? We always gonna make sure we play something that y'all like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we gonna get you grooving to us. Mm-hmm. And then we gonna do that flip on them, and we gonna play rock the house, and we gonna take it back off the field on the other side. Yep. The worst thing the other place, uh, uh, the, the, the opposers can say is like, "Oh, they did that." <laughs> <laughs> right. That's it. Oh, that's they, it. They did that. Mm, they, they did, did that. do that. Yeah, they did that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They got. They got to come with it. They, they got to come, come with it. it. Ira, that's some real. That's some real live history right there. Like, yeah. yeah. Like I was uh, a lot of a lot of these shows. I and, and I'm gonna say this every single time because I got to get props. So a lot of times we talk to different people. They have information to share with right. the listeners and with us that went on at their time frame, whether it was in 91, 89, 84, whatever the time frame was, and we learned something. Being that, we, being that we're boom alumni, we still don't know everything that has gone on over the years. And then I'm I'm so appreciative to you and everybody that we've had on and all the people that we will have on to share, to share those stories because – I'm learning stuff that I did not know. Like that should have been on like a, what you just said. How Rock the House got here? That should have been right. on like a banner. Like um, um, back in 1988, on the campus of <laughs> this is how Rock the House came about. That kind of stuff. That's some real live history right there, man. So I appreciate that information. I wonder how many people don't. How many people know that? Or nobody. Know that. Nobody. nobody everybody. Know that. Everybody was in the boom in 1988. That's it. That's it. Eighty nine people like I, I like this. I'm gonna join. 88, like eighty seven, eighty six, eighty five. Yep. They mm-hmm. sat there just like Toby was sitting there and listening to it. He probably didn't even pay attention to Rock the House at the time, but Dal Taylor saw it. He was like, I did. I, I didn't know. I didn't know the history of Rock the House, but like I wow. saw this stuff. That was right. the moment that I knew. Like everything from eighty eight. Because I graduated <laughs> high school in 98. So everything from 88 to 98. Right, right. Everything that I did, attention. Everything that I did was to be in the boom. Like, it was right. like, okay, I'm just I'm just going through this. I'm, like, I'm swimming through this stuff so I can be in the boom. It, it didn't matter. I, like, I wasn't paying attention to none of that stuff. I don't remember any of that stuff because <laughs> I wanted to be in the boom. You know, like, like that moment was like, okay, like, Okay, this is where I need to be. What do I need to do to get to that? Well, you know, uh, what we're battling right now is <clears throat> history is like what you guys are talking about. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we don't get a chance to share history. So mm-hmm. I'm going to bring up the drum majors because we go through this battle almost every year. I, I was actually on a campaign at one point to stop the drum majors from being in front of the J6s. I beat that dead horse. It, it just didn't go no more. And I was trying to get the drum majors to understand 
there were two there were two situations where we had to march in front of the J-SETs. And that was Motown in front of the J-SETs for the Southern University game at Southern. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because we had to, we had to march so far. They had, they had put us in the back of the stadium. So we had so far to march. And if y'all don't know how Southern is, Southern, Southern was, didn't like us. So they put us in the back. So we yeah, had to march. Right. Yeah, they didn't like us. So we marched all the way through. And during that time, we had bodyguards, which were some of the alumni band members that became the bodyguards for the J sets and the band. So that wasn't those three guys wasn't enough to just make sure that the J sets were good. So the other three, me, Spook, and Daryl, or I think it was me, Spook, and Daryl, well, we marched in front of the J sets only as protection to keep people from touching them or doing anything. Wow. So when we enter yeah, the stadium, yeah. when we enter the stadium, once we entered the stadium, we you did see us up front, but as soon as we blew off Get Ready, we went up back and got ourselves behind them because at that time we had a banner girl, the twirlers, the J sets, and then the drum majors. So, you know, I questioned the guys about that and I told them, I said, well, Hollywood wanted that look. So when Toby um, and his family got a chance to witness the parade, we may have cut that thing about six times coming around that corner. And when they saw the drum majors with that mean lean coming around that corner, they said, cut, let's start over. So we were in the middle of the street and they said, let's take it back. Can we get the drum majors to come out first? So they had us in front of the banner girl and they would roll it back, roll it back. Let's try this again. They did it a few other ways. And they said, we got to get those guys to come around that corner because it's that's big. So it was it was about Hollywood. So mm -hmm. because the drum majors don't know that was the that wasn't the that was a Hollywood look. But because Jackson State started doing that, if you look at all the bands now, and we are trendsetters, and that's why mm -hmm. we have to be really careful. Now everybody's in all drum majors are now in front of the band. Yep. Wow. And that's that but sense. that's what you see what I'm saying. So yeah. and, and 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 the the moves that y'all see, what is really cool is that before we started doing all those moves, I'm gonna stand up. I know they can't see me, come but on, y'all can see me. This uh this is the only move that the drum majors used to do. Do 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 really do, this is it. Do, this is, is all that? you got until do, 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 do. until What's 19. Until 1987, St. Mm. All was the was the drum major that came back to work with Spook, Daryl, and myself. And his words were, do not do anything in public until it's right. And so that's where just this move. Are you ready? Watch y'all come up out of this. You just so showed us how the shawl. He just showed us how the shawl was created. Are you serious? That's oh, yeah. what James. So that's what James Wesley was talking about when he said they used to do a smaller move, and then. God. Wow. That's it. That's it. So the only move that the drum majors did before 87 was that little old move. And and what you saw the, the drum majors do was strictly they did the dance routine that the band did. So all the dancing and moving that you see now has been created from what Spook, Daryl, and myself created with the Big Dipper, the Dominique, the, the finesse and all that and Evolution, you know <laughs> so what's funny is and i'm gonna I'm give y'all a joke watch this come on what y'all seen the, the move finesse right oh yeah why you think it's called finesse it's supposed to be smooth <laughs> but that ain't it come on come on Daniel. come on give me one what you, it, why do you think it's called finesse i got i would say the same thing terrell said it's supposed come to be on Tolan. what you think it had to be somebody named Finesse. <laughs> <laughs> so Tobin, 
Lord. In 19 in 1987, the shampoo finesse. I knew he was about to say something. <laughs> I knew he was about to say something about the shampoo. Hallelujah. Soon as he said it. No, you're not going to say the shampoo. So, yes. the, the shampoo, shampoo is named Finesse. We called, it, we called it Finesse because <laughs> on the commercial, that was the coolest shampoo that had came out, Finesse. Uh, so we needed names to put to these moves. All right, so stop. Right. Wow. <laughs> stop right there. All right, stop. Right. stop. Terrell, no, right. keep going. I, You're right. No, no. Keep Terrell, keep going. Say it. Keep going. You got to say it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I said it twice. You right. Three times. All right, keep going. Keep going. I got one more for you. I got one more for you. I'm tripping. Keep going. Come on. I got. No, I got two more. I got two more. Bring it. <laughs> Big Dipper. On my lip, on the Big Dipper. Hold on. Hold Big on. Dipper. Big Dipper is like, um, no. Like that, mm -hmm. right? And that big difference. Uh -huh. I know it. Uh -huh. I know uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. ah. Okay. So that's big it. Dipper. See, I got it. So what? Told me, so stop. so you know so where the name came from? The star. So like you take the you do connect the dots. <laughs> la 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 la. You are. That's it. But how? The stars. No, how did you? How did so, you know that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is how it came about. <laughs> the night that we created Big Dipper, I looked not, in the sky. Not constellations. I, it's a constellation. I you saw the big dipper. I, I saw the big dipper. I, bull, bull. I, I got one more. I got no, one more. No. I got Hold one more. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. I was I got one more. I got one more. You for real. I'm telling you. It's the, the big dipper. It's because that night that we were we were you marching and <laughs> made it up, looked in the air, big dipper. I got one more. Why you were showing like that? That's bull. Come on, come on, come on. No, I can't okay. believe it. Dominique. Okay. Dominique. Okay. okay. I want to say Dominique Dolls, but she wasn't probably around. <laughs> nah, the time. not then. So, no. That was like, come on. Uh, Dominique. Dominoes. No. Somebody named Dominique. No. I don't know. I don't know. Dominique. Toby, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, man. One of the hottest you basketball drum players. You, you one of the hottest major. one one of the hottest basketball players during that time. Dominique Wilkins. 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 Huh? What do they got to do with anything? It doesn't. We just were trying <laughs> to get names oh to the moon. So that way when we get ready to call it, you, you know what call to do. Lizzie Hunter? Listen. <laughs> Watch this. He so, was there. He, hold on, he was hold on. literally hold on. He was there. He was <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> listen to this, y'all. Listen to this, y'all. Here's something funny. All right, hold on. I want you to hear this. Okay. So a couple of episodes, we always, we, we talk about like funny boom stories and funny quotes and funny sayings and where these funny names come from. The boom has been comedians since day one. Like, it's like, it's a requirement to be in the boom. You have to be funny. That's right. right. And That's you right. have to play. If you can't do either of the two, you can't be in the boom. Right. Then we'll get to the. Artist, you, can't, you can't be funny. You can't be what? If you're you an artist and you're not funny, you can't be an artist. You can't be an artist. You gotta be. You gotta be an artist. You gotta be funny as an you artist. Be artist and the funny. So you. So 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 man, we got we got to wrap this up, man. So <laughs> our, our listen, man. So you mean to tell me that these names that have that have been around for over thirty years are names that y'all just. Oh, there's a carpet in my room. <laughs> We're gonna call this room Carpet Toe. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have a television in this room. This room, this move gonna be called TV. TV, y'all. TV. <laughs> That's right. That's right. This the TV That's move. Right. What? That's how it came up. We call Man. we call Shaw. We call Shaw Shaw because when he did it, it was so smooth. So all right. So we so James, so listen. So we so okay. That's a trivia right there. So we had okay. James Wispy on here, right? So, uh, of course mm -hmm. we know the word the, the Shaw came from Daryl Shaw. All right, cool. So now how did it become was it because he was the one that created the shawl? That's why that's why it was called the shawl, or was there some other funny something? I know it's something more to it. Come on now. Okay, so that that's my dude. And I I, I said I was gonna do this. Okay, shawl okay. had the smoothest um he had the smoothest way of doing it. So when we were what I told y'all, this thing right here. So we had to do something with it. So Shaw was the only one that had a smooth way of doing the Shaw. So I, I created the skip in it. So like my Shaw is a skip. 
his shot was just smooth. I mean, that guy was like, but see, I did the, and you'll see it. I mean, when you pull up something, you'll see I got this little skip that I do right before you get into the shot. Okay. But he had the smoothest. And then so when we were marching and we called, we, we, we were saying, let's do that move. When we would do it, we didn't even have a name for it. So when we kept doing it, I was like, let's call it shot. Because you got the baddest, you, 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 you got it. Let's do, let's call it shot. Now let's imitate him. So that's how the shawl came about. It was just the way that he did it so smooth that we just try to imitate him. And then the difference with us, we still want to be individuals. So everybody had their own way of doing a move. And I think that's what that's what we're fighting about now. Is that no, that's through all fight. this? Well, yeah, Toby, we fighting because no, no, yeah, everybody y'all gotta stop that. Y'all gotta stop it because like it, it, it it's all glory. It's all great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm like, like, God, like that. This is the biggest thing that that ticks me off. Like with with us because like <clears throat> something can be great, and we'll decide that. Like we gotta pick a side. Like right. everything can be great. You know, like we can have multiple goats. That's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's right. Goat squad. A goat goat squad. Our, like I'm, I'm gonna tell you, like you my goat. You know what I'm saying? Like you right. the first drum major that I knew name. <laughs> you told me you know why, right? You know what I know, happened. I know why you I, you my name like like and then Fufu like he's <laughs> I, he's a goat to me because like he was my drum major. You know what I'm saying? Like so like that doesn't make that Fufu or you are better than like anybody else. Right. But like y'all brought your own yeah yeah persona to yeah. whatever it was. In that time, in that time, you right. Yeah, like, so you know, know, like so, we all can be great. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So like, You're definitely right. All right, I'm giving you flowers, man. I appreciate it, brother. <laughs> you are the drum major that I first knew. Whole name, our <laughs> I knew your name. Our I like, That's I, it. And, and and that was like in middle school, elementary. You know, and like so. Tell me, listen. Guy. If someone calls my name Ira Vaughn, yeah. I know it's Jackson State. Hey, straight up. Because that's the what reason they know. why. Why do they well, call you? Yeah. Well, I'm baby in my neighborhood. I'm IV from from people that grew up with me, mm. and I'm Ira Vaughn when it comes to Jackson State. <laughs> but y'all got to understand, from 1987, Jackson State started being followed by BET. Mm-hmm. My the last two years, eighty nine and ninety, we were on BT every game. So you hear that. that. So you hear Doctor. Mm-hmm. You hear Doctor James, the summa cum laude of bands, uh, with the whole R-R-P. thing and say Let's the drum major Iro Bond, <laughs> the drum major Iro Bond, mm-hmm. drum major head drum major Iro Bond. So you got a chance to hear that. 11 times every time you pull up on BET. Iro Vaughn. So when people say my name, I know it's Jackson State. Because they call my whole name Jackson State. Hey, all y'all so, at the HBCUs respect that. Because everybody know. They know. They know what it is. It was so issue. look, man, listen, man, Ira, man, this is this has been a, a pleasure, man. It's been a treat. Before we get too far away, we're getting ready to wrap this up. Man. Yeah, I, I saw yes, I saw your um I saw your brain twisting. It looked like you had you were about to say something. I, I saw it, a twinkle in your eyes before before we get because man, we'll be another 30 minutes because I know I know that we might have to do a part two. Like we did definitely I gotta do a part personally two. think we we, we, might, we, we might have to do a part, we'll part two. We definitely do a well. part two. No, he That's answered good. it. Iravon answered he answered it without me having to ask. What's, and it was gonna was be it? it was gonna be how did you get from that move that you were doing? How did it become who who was like who who was being silly and made it all big? Because that's what happened. Come oh, on, that's 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 really? That's wow. That's 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 silly and made it big. Yeah, like who was that's being wild. silly and just did it real yeah. big? And that's what we do. I mean, we were <laughs> we were being silly so we could so we could do something. I mean, we wanted to do something. 
and we had to come up with something. And and Saint All, man, I'm telling you, that guy was our choreographer. He didn't, I mean, he didn't do dancing. He didn't do the march because I think Saint All, actually, I think Saint All marched in 1980. Mm. And hell, I mean, he came back to be that person for us and said. He didn't tell us not to do something. He just told us, make sure it's together before you you show yourself in public. Before you present it. Yes. Yeah, so before you present it, make sure you know what you're doing and look good yeah. doing it. And that's all he said. And y'all created a whole and we took it. Oh, yeah. We took it. We took it and ran because he gave us the okay. Yeah. See, right, we didn't have Yeah, we, we he gave us the okay. We hey, thank brother, you for I taking it. <laughs> we thank you for listening. We thank you for leaning yeah. into that because like you did. It was like what whatever it is that we we're leaning in, and whatever we got to present to everybody else, it's got to be great. And Yo, thirty plus years, man. Thirty plus years. That stuff is still rolling. I love it. I mean, y'all have no idea. I sit in the stands and I'm sitting there smiling, man, because I'm like, wow. And forget that, man. You you graduated <laughs> from college and you you going down the aisle doing this, <laughs> right? You doing that stuff. Like, you living that life. No one like if you've not so y'all if I have not if y'all have not heard of the Iravon when he received his degree, he had on his sure. cap and gown with his slacks. And a tie with a button down up under his cap and gown. Stop and that. Some, he probably some old hun shoes. He marched. He shawl. He high knee. He dipper. He finessed. <laughs> he did every trick. The Huckleberry. He Huckleberry. did the Huckleberry. Ooh. <laughs> that was a moment. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait you have to. No, no, no. Uh uh. Ira, you I'm have to confirm this to me. Okay. Is that, no, no, no. Is that named after Barry Greer? Yeah, Huckleberry. Huckleberry, Huckleberry plays cymbals. So Huckleberry, when he was playing cymbals, Huckleberry had this move where he do this. So that was that was Huck, and that was before my time. That's when I was a boy scout. Yeah, I was a boy scout and and passing out the flyers at the football game, and that guy was in the boom with them cymbals, killing it, and that was called the Huckleberry. Now wow. they may they may not have put a name to it, but we called it the Huckleberry, and still, that's what we did. It's still history, there. history okay. has been has been made and has <laughs> been. Told. JSU, man. We yo, hold on to this. My stuff. mind is blown. Listen <laughs> to this, y'all. So do some. Oh man, we got on wax tonight. So we got look, wax. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is what we're gonna do. So. We gonna we gonna come back with our Vaughn for a part two. I know we always say we are gonna do a part two, but no, nah, we doing a part two. We, 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 we gonna we gonna, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna our Vaughn. So y'all check this out. So um, man, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for listening. We had the 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 most outstanding, the most um sensationable, the summa cum laude of drum majors. Right, show. <laughs> do a, do a show we right got we show. had our Vaughn. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. So, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for listening. This is Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club. This is Band Sessions with the Boom. Thank y'all for listening. We are out here until next time. Peace out. Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club is presented by Bet Online.